Buddy, it's lunchtime. You're thinking about food. If you're planning on uh, preparing the food over the long weekend, maybe out at the grill, uh, Chef Jeff has a recipe to try out. Yeah, and this one is a twist on grilled chicken, so it might involve your favorite root beer. And hello, everybody. I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, today's recipe, I'm going to be doing a delicious, flavorful, yummy chicken leg recipe. Um, it's perfect weather for that kind of thing. Let's get out on our grills and grill some chicken legs. But we're gonna make them special because we're gonna be making a root beer barbecue sauce to go with them. So we're making root beer grilled chicken legs and they're super delicious. So let's get right to it. So let's start with chicken legs. So of course you can find the big packs of chicken legs at your local Smith's and they're fairly cheap as far as meat goes. And you get a whole pack for, for usually around six or $7, something in that range. But either way, they're cheaper than most cuts so that's why i like chicken legs so much and they're full of flavor and they're moist and they're delicious so um we're let's season them up so in here i've got paprika i've got garlic powder pepper and salt so just really simple i'm gonna give them a good stir here before i throw it on my chicken and i like to just put it in a bag because then it helps me to easier season my chicken legs so just give them one of these have your grill heated too high, but we'll get back to the legs in a minute. Let's get our sauce made real quick. So this is a root beer sauce, uh, basically a root beer barbecue sauce. And of course it has to start with root beer. So whatever your favorite root beer is, it's about a cup of that. And then next goes some ketchup. And then we have our seasonings, which is brown sugar, onion powder, salt and pepper. Let me get my brown sugar out of there. There we go. And then here I have some um, cider vinegar and then I have orange juice, and then some mustard and garlic. So it's all of these ingredients that are just common for barbecue sauce. But there's gonna be just that little bit of root beer sweetness that you're gonna love about this. This is molasses that I have here. And then lastly is some Worcestershire sauce. And so I'll put that in there. And then I'll bring it to a simmer. And then once it simmers, then I just turn the heat off and just let it sit on low. And then what you're left with is just this lovely barbecue sauce that I put in this jar. Okay, so chicken legs. Um, the best way to cook them is to have your grill on high and then put your chicken legs on there for about three minutes each side. Turn the heat down and then that's, because chicken legs take time, they're, they're not fast cooking. So um, that first three minutes on the high heat is what you're just gonna give them that crust that you want on the outside. Turn the heat down to medium and then let them cook for about 20 minutes more, flipping once every five minutes. Um, during that last five minutes, and that's what I have here on my indoor grill pan, once you get to that last part, that's when you're gonna wanna put the barbecue sauce on. Don't put your barbecue sauce on too, uh, sauce on too early because what happens is, is all that sugar in your barbecue sauce is going to burn. So they go on at the last little bit. So get our barbecue sauce on there, barbecue sauce on there if I could speak. And then that's basically it. And then we get them on our plate. Maybe let that barbecue sauce sit on those for a little while just to let it kind of Mary to the chicken legs, but either way, fantastic. Let's get some more of that sauce on there. Root beer deliciousness. You guys are going to love it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Wouldn't you love to get invited to a Chef Jeff barbecue? <laughs> like at his home Absolutely. or something? Man, Jeff, thanks. That looks awesome.